way in life. You said that about respect and all that. How important is it for the athletes of today to have people like yourself, Sunday Uti and Falila Togunkoe around them? And may I stress, you're all medalists. How is important? How important is it for this crop of athletes to tap into what you know and for you being around? It's very important. That's why why Jamaica is where it's at today because they're bringing their their their, their former athletes, the Bird Camerons, the Don Juarez. You know, they're bringing, you know, the, the, if, you know, just to mention a few, to be a part of their modern-day athletes. And then when they see them and they talk about their accomplishments, then it gives, you know, it, it gives them something to, to, to look forward to. It's like, you know, I've had that they say to me, you're only 5'9". If you're 5'9 and you run 40, you run 44'1", I could run better than that. You know, it's, it, it, it inspires athletes when they have people that have done it before. But the only issue that with today's athletes in general is that they don't know their history. I mean, they have internet, they have... Uh, YouTube, they, you know, during my time we didn't have any of these, but I knew who Don't Worry is, you know, I knew who he was at the time, I knew who uh, Alberto Wontorino from Cuba was at the time, I knew all these greats, I knew Victor Mar Martin, the Olympic gold medalist from 1980, I knew all these people, and I wasn't even, you know, we didn't have this, the resources they have today, and, and that being said, you know, what, the importance of having the former athletes involved in, the, in, in what, what is happening, like the Yusuf Ali, the, you know, and, 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 and I mean, Nigeria, we, we produced some of the best. I remember in 83, we went to the World University Games, we dominated the whole competition. We won five gold medals in the events that the USA and Canada usually dominated. But then, you know, and then that's what carried us over to 85, 86, 87, and the rest of, you know, as, as we went on. And that's what it is. We, we have to understand that, you know, if you know your history, there's a good chance that it will repeat itself. And that's what, it, what matters. You know, a nation without a vision shall perish. We should, we should try to put a vision together and chase after that. And I'm, I'm saying this in regards to the athletes. Now, I myself, in my experience as a journalist, I think it's a fair point for me to make that, as you mentioned, Nigeria has a wealth of talent. We have rough diamonds. We've unearthed so many, and we will continue to do so. But would you agree that sometimes the administrative side and the organization lets us down as a nation? Well, you know something, I, you know, I, I'm on the outside, and, I, and I'll say that, I'll say this with due respect. I don't want to point fingers because I don't know what, what circumstances they face uh, uh, on a daily basis. But one thing I'm, I, want, I, I'm, I'm, I would like to say is that, you know, we need to come together, gather the stones, you know, and, and start looking ahead. We cannot, we cannot continue to allow it such a great nation with so much resources, the greatest resources any country could want to have, which is human resources, we have it, over 160 million people. And we, you know, if you go into that, you go into the nitty gritty of, of the, the, the trenches. Believe me, we could find the better, you know, the better than the Imo, the better than Oyale, the better than Falila Togukoya, Adeniken. I mean, we have them there. But, but, but the thing is, you know, we need to, we need to go back to the roots. You know, and that's why, you know, it to me is very important to bring people to to work with us to make it happen. And um, you know. I, I'm willing and able to, to, to be a part of that, you know, I, 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 so we could dig that, dig back down and make, make this, you know, make, make history again, because we have, we, have, we have the talents, we just have to find them. When you were running, you just started your career back in 82, 83, there wasn't all this, you know, mass problem of drugs, you know, doping in sports, I mean, especially in athletics. And then we came to the late 80s, 90s, and especially 2000, we had the Barco scandal and all that. Do you believe that athletes who have been caught should be allowed to take part in the Olympics, or do you believe in second chance? Well, you know something, God is a God of second chances. And uh, but, but that being said, if, if an athlete goes out there to cheat to, 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 to be the best, um, you know, when, when he knows the rules, I think, you know, they, they, they should pay the, the price. You know, if the price is two-year ban, three-year ban, four-year ban, that's what they have to pay for. They have to pay. But, but you know, but then for that to be follow them for the rest of their lives, if there's, you know, there's consequences yearly or the same, for example, set aside or set for this for 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 uh, what they did wrong, they either they serve or you know go through that. Then I think they should be given the opportunity to continue with, you know, to, to do what they need to do. But again, to who am I to say? 
uh, but uh, you know, uh, with that being said, you know, if if it's a recurring uh, uh, thing, then that that individual athlete doesn't belong in the sport. But I think you know, in everything, you know, uh, there's always a, 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 you know, God gives us an opportunity to to make mistakes and, and bounce back. If somebody make, has made a mistake and then un- learn and and then give back, what does that mean? Give back the money they 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 got from all of that. Give it back and also to preach against uh, drugs in sports. You know, give that's that's a very uh, Let me take it back. They don't have to give back the money. You know, I, I shouldn't be saying that because it's not my business, anyways. But 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 if they have to stand and preach against drugs and sports and and do what is necessary to to educate the younger ones that this is not correct you know that's how you give back you know become a symbol of 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 what you did what you know what you did wrong and 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 establish an avenue to where people will respect you because you've turned back your back on that and you're moving forward teaching people what the wrongs what, what went wrong and why it is wrong to do i think that's you know you know that that will help the sport but if, if the people come out of it and they they, they 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 worship them and they allow them to be, you know do all this stuff that, that they did in the past then it's not helping what made you come home from america to be coach Nigeria. Well, you know, uh, the, 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 uh, the director general had been, you know, uh, uh, Dr. Uh, EKG had been, you know, had been communicating, and uh, he, you know, he's, he'd spoken to me m- many times about coming to, to, to work with Nigeria, and then I went, you know, as time went on, the, uh, a few other people had spoken to me, and then, you know, uh, uh, the, the minister uh, got involved, and, 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 and that, you know, I, I, I've worked with other countries. And each time I, I, I've worked with other countries, they've, they've, they've pointed me back to Nigeria. And why is that? Because they're like, you know, you know, Nigeria needs you. And, and, and at times it becomes, it becomes uh, redundant where you go to, you know, working with other countries and say, ah, you know, why are you here? You should be coaching in Nigeria. And, and so, so when this opportunity came about, I, I jumped on it because I believe that I have what it takes. And, I, you know, and, and having competed for Nigeria, worked with the, you know, competed for, uh, at the highest level, coached some of the best athletes in the world. I believe that this, this, this through God's grace, will be an opportunity for me to give back to, to our great nation. One last question. How many medals do you think will win I'm Nigeria? Not, I'm not going to talk medals because, uh, I, I know, like I told them from the one, I'm not a miracle worker and God is. So my biggest, my biggest prayer is that, you know, we will, we will do, do very well. And doing very well is that, you know, the athletes will surpass uh, the, 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 the uh, the the the, the, the uh, you know, what what people are predicting you know I, I mean, for me to say speak specifically on medals that's not do, that's not doing anybody justice so I say that to say this I I prayerfully believe that by the grace of God we will do very well so you're saying I'll just conclude with this now you'll be happy with personal bests well you know yes I mean you know let's be real uh, like say for example you know, some of the athletes you know didn't come to training it didn't come to you know to training camp with me in Atlanta till March you know so so they, you know was, you know started training for the Olympic Games in March you know so but keeping in mind that every Olympic Games that the, every our country that's here for the Olympic Games started their preparation the day after the last Olympic Games wow so 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 we I, I, I prayerfully believe and pray that this this time around we will start our preparation day after this game to, to look forward to uh, uh, 2016 in, 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 in the Brazil because if we do that we won't be ta- we'll be we'll be we'll not, we'll not only be talking about how many medals we'll be talking about you know going out there and doing better than we've, we've ever done before so let's let's that's been real pleasure thank you so much